guys, it's Sierra. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm honestly a little bit nervous. Today we are going to be facing my photo fears. So I try to make the photos that I post online pretty realistic. No Photoshop, no smoothing, it's just me. <laughs> but the reality is the photos that I'm choosing to share on social media are still in the best light, the most flattering pose. Your girl knows her angles. We see the best version of everyone online and that isn't always realistic. So today in this video, sponsored by Calvin Klein, I am going to try to show you guys the sides of me that you don't typically get to see in my photos. The angles and the sides of myself that I usually shy away from and the parts of my body that I might try to cover up in a typical photo. Because honestly, I'm still working on my self-love journey, but today we are gonna strip all of that away. I'm really excited, so let's get into the first photo. I am so excited to team up with Calvin Klein and really face these photo fears head on. They have great plus size offerings that can be seamlessly integrated into your daily life and style. I feel very confident in my Calvins and I love that they really wanna celebrate body positivity and acceptance and confidence in all its forms. Calvin Klein has so many really comfortable and flattering pieces that make me feel super confident. I love their underwear, of course. I've got the matching bra and underwear sets in black and gray. And I also love their workwear. Like how cute is this little black jumpsuit with the ruffles? I'm obsessed. I am very hashtag confident in my Calvins and most of these styles and more can be found on calvinkline.com. So I want to try to conquer my fear of belly rolls. Whenever I take a photo sitting down, I try to keep my posture really straight so that my stomach doesn't have any rolls. But the reality is, if I'm just sitting on the couch at home, chilling, relaxed, my stomach has a little roll to it and that's perfectly fine. So first we'll take a sitting down photo the way I normally would and then we'll switch it up a little bit and try to conquer that belly roll fear. Let's do it. these angles on video or on like photo because I'm not comfortable with them, even yeah. myself. Yeah. And so I think showing that is not only important to like show other people, like this is what I look like, but also just for me to take a beautiful photo and be like, but I'm also showing my stomach and I'm yeah. showing my stomach rolls and that's fine. What I really like about this too is that both of these are real. Like both photos are real and they're me. There's not like, there's nothing wrong with posting photos in that flattering angle and that flattering, you know, pose. One's not better than the other, but I think it's it's good for me to show both. You know, they can both be beautiful. They can, they're both different. They're both different angles of me and they're both real. And I feel like that's what makes me feel really confident about it. Okay, next photo, um, not gonna lie, I am terrified of low angles. When I'm taking photos, I usually like to shoot either straight on or from an angle that's a little bit taller than me. I'm just, I'm self-conscious about looking like I have a double chin and that lower angle making my body look bigger. But there's nothing wrong with having a double chin. There's nothing wrong with looking bigger or being bigger. So let's just smash those beauty standards and do this photo. this video I was trying to think through my head like what are my photo fears and so I pulled my audience I was like hey guys like what are your photo fears and the most common one that I saw was low angle really? and then I was like yeah I have that same fear so I was like okay we for sure have to do this one but I feel like it's such it's such a dumb fear like it it's is, just it is we made it up well, yeah people made it up and it made us feel this way and it told us that we can't do this but you can absolutely do this you guys can do this too I mean look at this you look fantastic Fear 
number three, showing the cellulite that I have on the back of my legs. I'm really only just starting to feel confident about this part of my body, so I hope that opening up about it, showcasing it, talking about it with you guys, and facing this insecurity head on can just get rid of it altogether and make me even more positive about my body. shoot this from behind. And the thing is, I take photos that show my thighs, but I always bevel my leg because that really smooths the appearance out. So I I always point my toe, you know, bevel my knee, and then I'll kind of turn and look over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So we can do that for the first one. And then the second one, I really just want to do like a from behind shot. Maybe even because it, it highlights the cellulite even more when I shift my weight onto one leg. Or maybe even legs together. Because I feel like that's oh. super uncomfortable. Oh, that's yeah. nice. I think this honestly is something that I, I'm i not comfortable with. Yeah. Most women have cellulite, no, yeah. no matter what size, you oh, know? Yeah. It's not a size thing. Like, yeah. women who are a size two can have cellulite, women who are a size 20 can have cellulite, men can have cellulite. Yeah. Like, it's so normal, but it's so not seen. the intro in the dressing room I was like okay I'm nervous like I don't know how this is gonna go like I was like I don't know if I'm gonna be like crying having a breakdown because I don't like what I see and that's not the case yeah. at all like I'm I'm very happy with what I see at all angles and that's like I think I've been at a place on my self-love journey where I'm confident with what I see at my best angles for a while which already I think was a big improvement but I think being at a place where I'm happy with all the different angles is like a huge step so it's it's really cool i mean like we said cellulite is totally normal like it, it's razor bumps stretch marks all of that is totally normal and for me like i think that's kind of the next step on my confidence journey is loving myself at all angles for my last photo fear i want to try taking a, a beautiful glamorous photo without a drop of makeup on my face. I'm pretty confident in my bare face. If you watch my vlog channel, I film like every day without makeup. I actually don't even wear makeup on most days. But if you look at my feed, I'm pretty much always wearing makeup. I think makeup can be a really cool way to highlight the features that you love about your face. It's artistic, it's beautiful, it's fun, but I can still look photo worthy without it. And I think that's a really important reminder. I can be confident and beautiful with makeup and without makeup. When I wake up, I don't look like this. <laughs> so let's take a close-up photo now, and then I'll go wash all of this off, and we'll do another close-up. I'm comfortable not wearing makeup, but when I associate not wearing makeup with like a lazy day. Mm. I associate like no makeup, chilling on the couch, like hair tied up, and that's great. But I think I I think when, oh, it's time to do a photo shoot, it's time to film, it's time to put makeup on. But I think there's no reason I can't take like a beautiful glamorous photo without makeup. Sierra and I think that's kind of like what I wanted to conquer in this video for myself like we said I am me in the photo with makeup but I'm also me in the photo without both are beautiful they're just different it's a different perspective
I feel like filming this video was such a breakthrough for me. As soon as I got home, I started telling Steven about it. I think that highlighting my insecurities in these photos instead of just defaulting to the poses that I'm comfortable in, I'm learning to accept those parts of my body that I'm not as comfortable in instead of just hiding them. I think this video just really reiterates to me that there is more than one type of beauty and you should never compare yourself to what you see online. If you're always trying to change yourself to fit someone else's beauty standards, you'll never actually get to be happy just being you. And I think in the end, our imperfections are what make us beautiful and unique. And I think it's okay to highlight those and show those. And you don't always have to go for the most traditionally flattering pose, the angles that you're always used to. You can switch it up a little bit. And it definitely helped me accept those angles and parts of my body that I'm not usually as apt to highlight. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you on Friday actually with another new video. I used to post on Tuesdays and Fridays, but I think at least for a little while, I'm just gonna go down to posting one video a week. I have so much going on in the next month, month and a half. I have my live show, Sierra Unfiltered Live, the countdown to 1 million subscribers. You can get tickets from the link in the description, but that plus travel, plus a lot of other things, I, I think I wouldn't be able to put as much quality and effort into two videos a week. So there might still be a bonus Tuesday video every now and then, but I'm just gonna commit to one video a week for now. I hope you guys can understand. So I'll see you on Friday. Be confident, be kind to your body, and I'll see you then. Bye. And thank you again to Calvin Klein for sponsoring this video.